duty boy. My little duty. Basically, we wanted to make this video so you could watch it later on in life and basically just give you a message because you are our firstborn and we know that your little world is about to change a lot. And, oh man, I can't already. We love you. We don't want to ever make you feel like you're left out or that you're alone. There's a lot that I want to say, but it's hard to put it into words. I know. You and your brother or sister are only going to be 15 months apart, so you guys, I feel, are going to be very close, but I know in the beginning it's going to be a drastic change for you. and It's going to be hard. Yeah, and we have just been spending all the time that we can with you these past few weeks. And today was kind of the last day that we had to spend as a family of three together because you have to work tomorrow, which you often spend most of your time working. And I spend most of my time with you and just watching you grow over the past 15 months. Watching you grow over the past 15 months has been the best part of my life. And I feel like giving you a sibling is going to be one of the greatest gifts in life because you guys will have each other all throughout life. Garrick and I never really had that. Well, you kind of did later on in life. But I just feel like you guys are going to be so close and it's going to be so great. But at the same time, there's so many emotions that go into having another child after you're firstborn, which is why we just want to make this message to you and just to tell you how much we love you and your world's about to change. We hope you don't ever feel left out. Yeah. That's my biggest concern. Mm -hmm. That's something that I like, I'm really scared of. This is hard. I know. Oh man, Whew. hang on. It's something awesome, like it, it really is, but like at the same time, like, it's gonna take away from him a lot. Babe, <laughs> I can't make this. <laughs> but, on another note, it's going to be awesome. It yeah. really is, it's gonna be awesome. No, we're so excited. I don't want people to think that like we're so sad that no, this no, is no. happening. Like, we're this so awesome. happy, but like at the same time, he sending has... a message to your firstborn is hard. Yeah. Later on in life, you're gonna thank us so much for giving you a sibling. I know that, but like, it is hard transitioning. It's he just, has such it's a gonna personality. be hard. Like, he has such personality. Yeah, you just, you made us parents. We had to film this whenever you were sleeping because we spent kind of all day together, all of us, just spending our last day as a family of three. We're super excited though because I can't wait to see how you're going to be with a newborn. I just can't wait for, for you to meet your baby brother or sister. We don't know the gender, so I don't know if you're having a baby brother or sister, but either way, you'll be happy. You come and pat my belly all the time and like point at it and rub it all the time. I don't know if you fully understand, but I, I think that you do understand that something is about to happen and yeah. there's going to be a big change. I, I truly believe that he does understand that. Yeah. But yeah, you made me a mother and you made me see the world so much differently and you've... You've saved my life completely. Yeah. Like, I don't even know where we would be right now if we didn't have him. Honestly, this is the best life that I could think of in the whole world. Mm -hmm. It's just to have so much love. Even though you work so much and you're not even able to be there all the time, like, I'm so thankful that I've been able to see all of your milestones, your first word, your first steps, just everything I get to see your first because you, babe. But we wanted to basically just give you a recap of what we did today. So yeah. we went to the park. You had a lot of fun. It was your first time at the park. Well, at like a playground. Like a big, at a big yeah, boy big playground. Boy playground, yeah. It was a lot of fun. You're a mess. You have such a little personality and you're in that tantrum phase right now, which is really hard for a lot of parents. And you are just, you are free spirited. That's for sure. Yep. You're gonna have to learn to share. With your baby brother or sister. <laughs> Although, I don't think he's going to be bad at sharing. No, he's going to be. 
It's gonna be awesome. I think you're gonna be such a good big brother. You've definitely made us view the whole world in a totally different way and just seeing things through your eyes is a lot different than us. Like we have to stop and think a lot of the time and just think about things through you if that makes sense and it's just it's changed our world entirely oh you were a very colicky baby and i'm really hoping that i don't have to deal with you as a strong-willed and free-spirited as you are and another colicky baby so i'm praying your brother and sister is not that would be amazing yeah another thing that we're really just emotional about and there's just a lot of feelings towards us. We're leaving you for the first time ever yeah. because we have to. We're kind of forced to. We, we've we never, you know, left you with anyone. We haven't had a day to ourselves at all and I am so grateful for that as well. Some people may think that we're crazy that we want to spend all of our time with you, but we do. We've never wanted to miss a beat and now we're kind of being forced into that and it's emotional because although your Mimi and Papa will be watching you at our house we'll still be being away from you during that time that we're at the hospital delivering your baby brother or sister so that is just emotional for us too we we're, just love you dude we're just as attached to you as you are to us and I don't think that's a bad thing whatsoever we look a mess. We were up with you last night because you were teething. Basically, since you've been born, we haven't had any sleep. Nope. <laughs> so we yeah. always look like this. But that's okay. I do it over a million times. Definitely. It's just crazy like how your perspective can be one way, and then you have a kid, and then it totally changes. Mm -hmm. Like, I was a totally different person before I had before I had him. I always tell people, like, if you knew me before I was a mom, you don't know me now at all. Yep. You see, I'm completely different, and you are too. Mm -hmm. We've both changed, and we've grown so much, and you've just changed our world entirely. Yep. You've made us see things, like, so differently. Like, have kids, and you'll understand life. Literally, everything we do is for you. Yeah. And we will continue to do everything that we can to make sure that you're safe and provided for and have everything that you need. That's just because we love you. All I ever wanted to be in this life was a mom. Like I feel like all my friends had their deepest passions and like what they wanted to do in life, but all I ever wanted to be it was a mom and then I got pregnant and then I was terrified. And then I had you and I feel like you've just, you've given us the courage to even, or given me the courage to even have another baby to have your baby brother or sister. So just thank you for even making me a mother in the first place. Yeah. I can't believe he's already almost two years old. Like, I know. you're 15 months right now, but still, that's, that's almost two to me. Yeah, that's crazy. I miss you all the time. Yeah, we, miss, at work. we miss you when you're sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, your dad was like, we're just going to bring him in the bed with us. And we would still be sleeping with you, but you don't want to sleep with us anymore. And it's so sad. You like your own space. <laughs> I hate it. I just want him. I know. We're watching you on the monitor right now, and you look so cute. We're going to see us giving a, all this attention to this new baby. baby. And I know it's going to be hard, but... We'll never stop loving we'll on you. We'll never stop loving you, and we will always make sure that you are... Part of what we're doing yeah and you will help us teach this baby to grow yeah I, I really feel like he will because not just like teaching him things but he'll they'll teach each other how to share how to play nice and later awesome. on in life you'll have somebody to lean on when we pass away I know <laughs> that sounds bad but you'll have somebody to lean on in those times that you won't want us as parents anymore. That's so sad. I know. You won't want to come to us with certain things, but now you'll have a little sister or a little brother that you can turn Confide to. In. You'll only be 15 months apart. That's so close in age. We're just knocking them out, babe. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
done. <laughs> you will always hold a special place in our heart, just like your baby brother or sister, but you were our first with everything. My first time wearing maternity clothes, our first time planning a birthday party, our, like all the new parent first. First Christmas. Just first. everything. Yeah was with you and I'm so glad that we were able to capture all of this on camera. I just want to recap of like what your favorite things to do are right now. Like your favorite thing to do right now <laughs> 15 months old is dance. Yep. It's your favorite thing to do and eat. Eat and dance. Food, dance, music, boom. You're the best little duty ever. Cartoons. Yeah. You love cartoons. Every day with you is the best day of our lives and we're so happy that you just came into our world and just know that even though we'll be bringing a baby into this world, your baby brother or sister will never stop loving on you and we just want you to know how important you are to us and we love you so much. Just remember that me and your mom always love you. Mm -hmm. Me and your mama and dada. Mama, Mama and Dada, Dada, we love you. Yeah, we so do much. so much. I know that you're going to be the best big brother ever, and I'm sorry if we look such a mess right now. It's late, and we had to wait until you went to sleep so we could even film this for you. But we love you so much, and I don't know what else to say. Our hearts could not be any fuller, and we couldn't love you anymore. And we're just excited for this journey. Bring in another little baby boy. <laughs> baby Maybe boy? Maybe just a girl. Make a noise. <laughs> we, we love, love you. you. We love you, Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> oh. We love you. If you're anything like your father, I'm sorry. Don't listen to <laughs> No more wildies jumping on the bed. He fell off and then he bumped his head and then he normally goes home. And then I go, Mommy called the doctor. <laughs> Said and then, <laughs> and then <laughs> I know exactly what you're I, talking about. <laughs> and then I go, No more wildies jumping on the bed. <laughs> he like does that face. <laughs> That's so funny. I want him. Cause I can literally picture that whole scene. <laughs> he probably goes. <laughs> <laughs> he does. <laughs> he does. <laughs> he does. <laughs> That's so. Funny. He does that like when he's trying to understand. <laughs> <laughs> W I L. We haven't seen that to him in a long time. That is my buggy, and he has my heart. I'll always be here to tuck, tuck you in tight. tight. A hug, a kiss, to say goodnight. Wild the bird, I love you, turd. You don't like the turd part, but I love it. No. I want to get that saying hung above your crib. I made that up for you when you were like a newborn. <laughs>